This presentation will describe the steps to perform calibration for ultrasonic thickness measurement. I will give you a demonstration for both the single probe and the dual probe. The basic steps for calibration are shown here on the board. First of all, you need a step lock with known thicknesses and normally it's a four step lock or a five step lock and the four steps could be quarter inch, half inch, three quarter inch and one inch or if it's in metric it would be five millimeter, ten millimeter, fifteen, twenty and twenty five. That is step number one and then after that we select two thicknesses from the step lock which could be for example half inch and one inch or if you are using a IIW block then it would be 1 inch and 4 inch or if you are using metric it could be 10 and 20 millimeters. We take those two numbers, selected numbers and enter them into the machine which is here and then after that we take the measurements on those two steps on the two selected steps and then we calibrate the machine and by doing that, the machine automatically calculates the velocity and the delay on the machine and the machine is calibrated. Once the machine is calibrated, in order to be sure that the calibration is correct, we have to verify the calibration back on the step lock with known thickness steps. I will go through the steps to set up the calibration on this machine to perform thickness measurement on this pipe cutout. The nominal wall thickness as you can see on this pipe is about 0.25 to 0.3 inches. So for that thickness we will use a dual probe which is right here and it has two crystals as shown right there transmitter and receiver. And uh, for that thickness range the best would be to use a step lock with four steps in the range of 0.25 to 1 inch which is uh, and should be the same material if it's carbon steel we have to use carbon steel. Now to start we will kind of get started here we just start the with the probe delay to be about zero velocity approximately 0 0.22, 0 0.23 and I set up the gate to about 20 percent level and the gate mode should be on the flank and flank means that it will pick up the first arrival signal. Now in order to do the calibration we will select two thicknesses from the step lock and to cover the range of this pipe I would select like 0.25 inch step and 1 inch step. So in order to do that we go to AutoCal select 0.25 here and 1.0 inch here and now I'm ready to do the calibration. I place the probe on the 0.25 inch step first which is this one and we put it there. You look at the signal which is from the 0.25 it comes up here and uh, I will say recording on so we record the first signal and then it's asking me the second signal which is S reference 2 which is 1 inch so I'll go to 1 inch and as you can see I don't see the 1 inch signal that means my range is not enough to see the 1 inch signal so what I can do is I'll just go back increase the range and now I can see the signal and go back to AutoCal and I'm ready to select S reference 2 so I will select it which is 1 inch and there we go now the calibration is done if I go back to the 1 inch screen I can see both the signals which is the 1 inch signal and the 0.25 inch signal which is right here the calibration did not come out exactly what we wanted the 250 it's reading like 237 so let's kind of go through the steps one more time. Okay, here we go. I'll go to AutoCAD. S reference 1 is 250. We will record S reference 1 now. S reference 2 is 1 inch. 
here, record it, and now we are done. So now 1 inch is 1 inch, 0.25 inches is 0.25 inches or close within 1 mil. This is 0 0.5, this is 0 0.750 which is reading 752. So that completes our calibration. Now we are ready to take the thickness measurement on this cutout and uh, I'll place the probe on the sample with some couplant on it and as you can see the screen it's reading this is a one inch screen which means this is zero and this is one inch so it's about 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and it's reading 297 if I go here it's reading 310 so that is a quick demonstration of the thickness measurement set up with a dual probe now we will move on to a single probe and the process is the same except in the single probe I will use a different uh, calibration block which would be the IIW block calibration with the single probe we have to set the machine to tell it that we are using a single probe I'll press the receiver here and turn the dual off which is right there and now we have on this IRW block we have two steps which are one inch and four inches this one is one inch this dimension is one inch and this dimension is four inches so in this case we will go to AutoCal enter the two dimensions which are one inch and four inches which is here one inch and four, four inches we are ready to do the auto cam the two steps chosen are one inch and four inch I'll first put it on the one inch side and here is the signal from the one inch we will start the recording process record S reference 1 then it's asking for S reference 2 which would be here and that's 4 inches and I will enter S reference 2 as 4 inches and we are done so now you can see that this signal is at 4 inches the screen is 5 inches which is right here so this would be 1, 2, 3 and 4 why is the instrument reading 0.198 because the gate is not crossing the initial pulse so we need to move the gate a little bit away from the initial pulse and that will take care of the problem so let's take this gate start and let's get it out of the initial pulse so here you can see it's reading 4 inches and when I go on this side it will read exactly 1 inch so this is the 1 inch step and this side is the 4 inches so that completes the calibration with the single probe and if I have to take a measurement for example on this thick piece which looks like about 2 inches so we apply the couplet again and put the probe and here we go the signal is here right there and the thickness being measured is 1.821 inches that was a brief description of the calibration process for thickness measurement in conclusion you need a step lock with known steps select two steps enter them into the machine take the measurements press calibrate and then verify some of those measurements thank you very much